the sengol is indicative of justice it is called the rajdand but it is the neeti dand the common equivalent given to the word sengol is another word scepter and people tend to think that the king held the scepter in hand and the scepter is indicative of monarchy however the tamil word sengol is not indicative of monarchy but is indicative of justice the king holds the sengol primarily to indicate that any law of the land is equally applicable to all citizens including members of the royal family and that he would render justice he would rule the kingdom in such a way that justice is rendered to everyone without any partiality or favoritism and just because the king happened to hold the scepter or the scepter or the sengol was placed close to the king in a strategic position it does not mean that the sengol is indicative of monarchy the tamil tradition upholds the sengol and gives a lot of importance to the way justice is rendered to everyone sangam literature talks of the sengol being an instrument of justice and the epics talk of the sengol as an instrument of justice there is a tamil epic a part of the five great epics called the aim perum kapiyangal silapadigaram the story of the anklet authored by a jain saint ilangobadigal now in this epic we do find a lot of references to the sengol without going into the details of the story which is not possible in a short time let's just look at the important references that we have kannagi or the heroine of the epic belonged to a trade community she was not of royal blood she was not a member of the royal family she was an ordinary person and that is why the entire epic silapadigaram is hailed as an epic of the common public it's called the kudimakkal kapiyam it says the epic of the common citizens the general public now kannagi loses her husband because of a decision made by the king when kannagi is approaching the king to ask him for justice we find the queen the koperam devi queen she kind of narrates to her friends that she saw a dream the previous night and in that dream she saw the sengol falling down kudayod kol veela kol is sengol the sengol is falling down and i saw this bad dream so she is disturbed perturbed and she is going towards the king at which time kannagi also arrives she comes to the assembly and uh, she kind of narrates her tale and says what has happened my husband had been erroneously killed at which the king responds your husband was a thief and killing a thief is not kadungol there is a word called 
kadungol or kodungol which is opposite to the word sengol indicating sengol is not the mere instrument alone it is the body of justice that is indicated by the instrument the word kadungol or kodungol will indicate a rule where there are no proper rulers a rule where anarchy prevails a rule sans justice in other words the words sengol and kadungol and kodungol are not related to the ruler but related to the rule itself the rule per se and the dispensation of justice dispensation of whatever is required by the citizens and if we see when karnagi demands justice the king says we had to punish your husband because he was a thief for which the king says kalvanai koral kadungol andru killing or punishing a thief is not kadungol so here what do we get it is not related to the individual king but then it is related to the act of rendering justice and subsequently when karnagi proves with her anklet that her husband was faultless the very moment ilangovadigal the author of the epic says the sengol which was installed next to the pandya king it fell down on its own sengol talarndad taalnda kudayan talarnda sengolan nobody kind of uninstalled the sengol there at the very moment of kannagi proving herself and proving her husband to be guilt free the sengol fell so we now find the sengol is not important because it is an instrument but it is important because it is an instrument of justice so sengol indicates justice and sengol is not indicative of the king or the queen or the system of monarchy we call it the rajdand and that is where the problem comes because it's associated with the word raj it is also the niti dand which means the rod of justice it is the rod by which justice is rendered and if we go into the word raj itself the raj the raj will mean the nation the raj will mean the country or raja will mean the king but then what is the root word for this word raja or raj or the king rajyati iti raja rajyati will mean to straighten to keep things straight we know sanskrit should have had a proto word which belongs to the same family this proto word would have meant to straighten to keep things straight so one who keeps things straight becomes a raja it is not that the raja keeps things straight but whoever does the rajyati becomes the raja and keeping what straight keeping justice keeping you know the rule straight so we find it is the rule which gives rise to the raja and it is not because the raja that this has come so in other words keeping things straight keeping justice straight rendering justice the right way the straight way the forthright way 
is what the same goal implies. And this is a civilizational value, a value that the Tamil tradition respects, regards very high. And this is related to all the Tamil literary works that we find. Thiruvalluvar talks about Sengol and we all know Thiruvalluvar was favoring equal justice to everyone. So that way Sengol is indicative of justice. It is of course called the Raj Dant, but then it is also called the Niti Dant and it is a rod of justice and not a plain rod which indicates justice. 